love what I was going to say today. I don't want to go back and revisit a lot. I did have a couple of comments that I, I need to say. First of all, here yeah, it's not good to see at the moment, but I've lived on the river where I live now for 13 years, and I've used this river uh, a lot since uh, 1977. And since 1977, Mr. Brown, a lot of the springs that were then flowing are not today. I don't know where the aquifer is where your comparison is. Other scientists will say the aquifer is not normal compared to what it was 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I can tell you that the spring that goes on my property between my land and the neighbors was flowing 13 years ago. It's not flowing today. Other springs historically have dried up. White Springs, good accounts of many others. So things are not lovey-dovey. Things are not normal spring. Springs are not like they used to be. River's not like they used to be. <clears throat> and uh, in the 13 years I've been here, the algae that, that Smith mentioned is the worst I've ever seen. Even back in 2012, when we had our drought, the river's up now, but you can't see the sand bottom. The water's clear. It's all brown. It's terrible. I don't know why this is. Maybe my place is not going to talk about that. But uh, the river is in need of help. And I know you're doing your best. Uh, I still think you sell yourself short when you say you're worried about all the legal battles. Yes, there will be some. I grew up in Nebraska and I had a very good friend who is uh, your town park there on the water board called Natural Resources. <clears throat> Things are very different. In Nebraska, you can't get a well. You don't get a well down. They have stopped it legal and it can be done and it has to be done before. It will come to that point that you're going to have to have legal battles. And you can do it. Mr. Reeves has a lot of talent over there, and we need to use it. Uh, and we need taxpayer money for this, which is important. That, what more can you use? What better use can you have for your taxpayer money to you save your strengths? I'm happy to pay my taxes for that. Again, <coughs> we're getting up there. It takes 50 years where my friend lives for the rainfall to get into the Here it takes, what, three days running right to the city hall. So it's totally different. But what's not different is that there's a finite amount of water the Lola Aquifer, and uh, they have learned that in Nebraska, and they monitor it. We haven't learned that here yet, but we will learn it, and maybe our strength will be dead before we do. I don't know if that's what I'm saying. It's also what you mentioned. <clears throat> I'm very concerned about the Sable Travel Pipeline, as you mentioned, uh, the risk to the rivers and underground caverns, and I'm also very concerned about the phosphate mine and the upper Santa Fe, which is also compared there. It's already in trouble. And they put in a, a well there for the mine uh, is going to impair the water more. Plus, we have this risk of what can happen. I lived 40 years in Tampa. And I saw what happened on South Prong Creek into the Alpha River. And I don't want to see that happen in Santa Fe. They ruined it forever. The Alpha River is shot. I don't want Santa Fe to be the same thing. Mayor Lee Gibson. 